Welcome back to Marriage Beyond the Veil. Well, it has been a week. Okay. It has been a week. But I had the um I had the joy of meeting someone that has been had been married for 68 years. Wow. That 68 is an years. incredibly long time. Um she's 91 and her husband passed last year. Mm. And she said we were married 68 years. Wow. And I thought to myself, wow, I mean, you know, some people don't even live that long, let alone to be married, married for, 60 for 68 years. years. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, now, you know, time is walking her down. Mm -hmm. um, and, but she expressed, you know, this joy came over her face when she talked about her husband. Wow. And I thought to myself, if everybody could see this, Mm. and experience this woman's joy just in that moment. I think all that they suffered in the last year because his health was really bad, um, and now she's dealing with some similar issues. But all she could talk about was the joy that they had. Well, if you've been married for 68 years, um, to me, that would suggest that, you know, you really got into a place where you really appreciate each other, where you understood each other, and where you really genuinely enjoyed the journey. Because I would find it hard to believe that anybody would be committed to anyone for 68 years yeah. if there was not an authentic love. Mm -hmm. It's true. Not to say it's not possible, but I don't think it's very probable. One of the things that I did in listening to her and telling, she was telling the story of what she's dealing with and what he dealt with, um, and from their daughter, um, one of the things that I realized was that, you know, based on the lifestyle that they led, mm -hmm. their health issues were very um, synonymous. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, and they were very similar, and it was very interesting. And I, I wondered, was it what they ate, you know, mm. movement, lack of movement, whatever, because keep in mind that gene pool was completely different. Okay. You know, but here they had very similar um, health challenges. So that is interesting, and... Um, but I would imagine, right, getting back to, okay, what was the diet? Mm -hmm. uh, what was the the health and mm -hmm. movement mm -hmm. uh, of these two persons? Because that is interesting. Mm -hmm. And it's something we talked about before. And so if you have someone in your love relationship that's like very physically active, loves to work out, you know, um, eats healthy, all that kind of stuff, and then somebody eats the polar opposite, yeah, you're going to see some difference in the way that their bodies react over time. Right. So, and, and this is where I think it's really key. That if you love someone and you want to spend the rest of your life with them, you know, and, it, and they're having some maybe doing some things that are bad for their body in terms of eating, drinking, smoking, whatever. Um, I do believe that as your life partner, the person that you've married, the person you committed to, you do have some... Responsibilities, responsibilities yeah. and rights to say to, hey to address yes exactly try to educate mm -hmm. try to encourage mm -hmm. in so, a loving kind of way I was gonna say you can't manipulate you can't coerce but of course but if address, you're the shopper I was gonna say well <laughs> but address it mm -hmm. you know and provide insight of the why yeah exactly the yeah, why the why and that's yeah. something we talk about all the time is the why so why are you doing it so. Um, I just thought it was really interesting because, like I said, completely different gene pools, but very similar in terms of what some of their health issues are now. But the joy. But the joy. Is the takeaway. The joy was After the takeaway. 68, 68 years. 68 years. And, and just being able to regale, mm -hmm. you know, the opportunities, the experience, yeah. bringing that, that joy unspeakable. Yeah. That's what we all should be striving for in our love relationships. Mm -hmm. We got a long way to go. Well, we're yeah, almost half yeah, there. Thirty-three, yeah. Well, we, we are, are half there. there. We just have yeah. thirty-three more years to match them. Yay! <laughs> only thirty-three more to go. Yes, only thirty-three more of me. <laughs> Until tomorrow, if the Lord says. <laughs> have a good evening.